Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is going to be sort of an unboxing of some goodies I got from my sis Stephanie over at Quilting Beauty and Books, which I'm so, so excited about. So I technically did unbox this in my sermon writing vlog, but if you didn't see that vlog, then I'm just going to have like this separate video because I want to dedicate a separate video to this because now I'm even super, super excited to do more things on this channel beauty related. Yes. But so my sis um, sent me some makeup and if you guys don't know, I am a freelance makeup artist. I have been doing makeup now for 10 years, um, different things, editorials, photo shoots, runway, um, bridal, birthday party performances, um, competition makeup, and things like that. So I do a little bit of everything. Only thing I don't do is avant-garde. Um, I would love to get into avant-garde, but I haven't done that. I've done one movie and I think a music video. I can't remember. Um, but the movie I did wasn't, like, no big thing. It was, like, a, um, a film festival, I think, that they had to do. And I did make up for one of the cast members or two of the cast members. It was, like, a year ago. I can't remember. But, um... Yeah, so I have new makeup, and makeup artistry is something that I really, really love. I was not into makeup in middle school and high school. I didn't get into makeup until college. Um, literally, the year that I graduated, 2009, my cousin did my makeup for my prom and my my prom. Yeah, and after she did my makeup for prom, I was, like, really intrigued by makeup. So I started doing makeup, um, and yeah, ever since then, I just, I love doing makeup. Um i'll step to the side and insert some pictures here of some work that i've done but makeup for me is a form of art um i feel like god gave me this talent for a specific reason and i do use it to glorify him one of the biggest things that i am really big on when working with my clients is that you don't need a, a crap ton of makeup excuse my language but you don't need like a face full of makeup to look beautiful i'm I 100% believe that God made us all beautiful. You can use makeup to enhance certain things if you want. Like if you want to enhance your eye colors, your eye shape. Um, if you want to enhance your lips. Like I feel like you can do that. But wearing caked up makeup on your face is unnecessary. Unless it's like a photo shoot. And even then on photo shoots, I never cake makeup on my clients. I'm just, I'm a big believer that you don't have to put on pounds and pounds of makeup. You're beautiful just the way you are. Um, it took me a while to get back into wanting to do makeup i'm um, personally on myself i haven't worn makeup in a minute um and if i do wear makeup it's not like all out i do miss it um i do have a beauty channel which you can click the on the screen to go watch that channel but i used to do tutorials i haven't done a tutorial in over a year for a while and um i get why because i started making makeup artistry an idol in my life um what i mean by that is that i was so caught up in finding a job dealing with makeup artistry that it became my number one concern and God had to take away my desire to do makeup artistry away from me for a minute and then he gave it back and then when he gave it back he gave me a job at a hair salon and I still work at that hair salon but recently I've just been feeling like it's not it's definitely what I want to do I definitely want to work at a salon I definitely still want to own my own beauty beauty bar basically but um, for what I'm making and how far the salon is from me, I would basically be profiting $0 um, because I, the money I would make literally covers my travel fee back in, in there. So it kind of like defeated the point and I was only doing one client a day. Um, so I haven't been going in a minute. Um, but somebody just texted my phone. Was it my son's father? Yeah, it was my son's father. Sorry. Um, it's Friday, so he's probably going to come over. Um, but, yeah, I've just been sparked into doing makeup again. And I wanted to do makeup on this channel because I really want to do book to book book to look makeup tutorials. Basically, when I take one of the pretty covers from Biblical Christian Fiction and I create a makeup tutorial around it. And um, I've been, I actually was supposed to start this a month ago. 
we ain't gonna talk about that um but i already discussed that the first book i'm gonna work on is delilah by angela hunt the thing is when i do that i do want to talk about the book so i'm gonna have to reread the book because i read the ebook at first so i'm gonna have to reread the physical book make my markings that way as i am doing the tutorial i can discuss the book with you guys so that's the hold up on that i'm gonna be reading delilah in december and i'll have that tutorial towards the end of december for around new year's holiday new year's eve type of thing but um yeah so my sis she does a lot of her wrap-up videos where she talks about everything that she did for the month like her devotionals the books that she read um what she did in her planner as well as the makeup that she wore and i was like oh i like her makeup and a lot of the stuff that you know she didn't she talked about in her video she didn't want to keep them anymore and her knowing that i love makeup and i do makeup she sent me some of her goodies and you guys will not believe that literally majority of the things that she sent me were things that i've always had on my list for my makeup artist like my professional makeup artist kit so it was definitely a god thing like it was a total god thing because god knew the link up he got god be knowing god be knowing he be doing things and the way he do things is amazing like let me just say my sis angela from sisters and pearls you may have known her from transform through god's world world transform through god's word but her new name the new name of her group is sisters and pearl angela i love her to pieces like the way we met the way we connected and seeing the growth that she's been doing like the things that she's been doing is like phenomenal phenomenal and i love her dearly and then my sis stephanie come on now like though those two there stephanie angela and tasha like those three are my sisters. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys are my sisters too, but I'm saying that because I actually do text Stephanie and Angela. Like, I actually have their phone numbers and we text a lot. Um, I don't text Angela as much because we're both so busy. Um, Stephanie, we've been texting a lot more because we do a lot of buddy reading together. So, yeah. And if anybody wants my number, you can have my number. You can just Instagram me or um, Facebook me and ask me. I don't mind giving out my numbers. My thing is, if you want my number one make sure you're gonna use my number don't just have it to have it and two be mindful about how and when you're texting um because i know some people get a little happy go lucky when they're texting like angela and stephanie we we text all the time but we also respect each other's time when texting so that's my only thing um if you want to call me up you can do that too i don't mind that i'm more of a texting person i don't really do well um talking to people it sounds weird but you can ask my son's father i talk a lot more via text than i do in person that's just me um, i'm a very like quiet person but um texting i could text you for days and hours and weeks and months talking in person i get shy but yeah moving on to this so i have my box like i said everything is already opened in the box um i did unbox the video unbox the stuff oops excuse me in a video um, now, she said she did sanitize everything, um, and told me to re-sanitize. I am gonna re-sanitize, obviously, um, just the makeup artist and me. Even when I buy new makeup, I always spray alcohol in prior to using it on a client. So, <laughs> that's just me. But, um, the first thing in here is this pink heart brush clean cleaner. Um, and I like this. I actually own two brush cleaners. They're egg-shaped, um, and a little hard. This one is softer, and it has a bigger space so that I can stick my fingers in. So, the other one, I think I can only do two or three fingers but this one I can literally stick like all four and like clean my brushes this stuff is amazing it works well it really gets in there and cleans your brushes um the one I has have only has two um two types so it has like this kind of straight line and then this this one has three so I think that's great she sent me this like everything is still packaged the way she sent it so this one she wrapped up which is awesome I should probably take off the um tape on this if i can figure out where it begins i don't know if this is where the tape starts for this yes okay but um i'm probably gonna have to do this off camera because i'm having a bit of oh okay i got it all righty so she sent me this powder from milk and i've heard milk before um so I'm I'm gonna be taking off the wrapping and sorry if you guys see me like pausing my son's father is texting me so but um yeah this is the milk makeup the blur and sets matte loose setting powder this is in translucent deep and I don't mind that at all let's open it please don't be messy on the inside no it's not oh wow that's so cool 
it's so cool it comes with like a top on it most of them don't come with tops on them that's actually pretty darn cool oh okay i see i see that's actually really cool okay that was so random but we have this so this is definitely going in my makeup kit um for sure that's going in my makeup kit um then she sent me this blush from black radiance radiance i love black radiance blushes i think they're great you can get these literally from any local walmart walmart yeah walmart right eight um walgreens this one is in the color brick house and it's just a deep red and um i think it's really really good this is a really good one to use on my darker skin complexion models and clients when i'm working on them so we have that she sent me two small samples so this one i think it's a sample is this an actual eyeshadow i don't know um i need to find where the tape is on this one i will say she packaged everything in here freaking amazingly well like sis you did the thing i the makeup artist in me is just like super excited but she sent me this um bare minerals eyeshadow this one is in the color lemon zinger i've had a bare minerals um powder i think i still have it it's like a mini sample of it oh that is gorgeous that is a really pretty color i don't want to spill it but that's a really gorgeous color i should swatch it but i'm not gonna make a mess <laughs> So we have that. And then she sent me this one here, which is a shimmer eyeshadow. Now with these shimmer eyeshadows, you can definitely use them on the face and the cheeks. But um, it's Bare Minerals. I think this is a regular size, whereas this one is a sample. Um, but it's Bare Minerals. This one is a glimmer, and it's in True, Glow, True Gold. And um, let's open that up. Ooh, that is pretty. I didn't open this actual one up in the um, unboxing video that I did. So opening most of these now for the first time is actually really interesting. Okay. I'm trying to make space. So we're going to have to work it out. Let's work it out. Let's work it out. All right. And then she sent me this from Laura Mercier. And I know what Laura Mercier is. This is something, something I wanted in my, my um, kit for a long time. It is the setting powder that Laura Mercier has out. And I've wanted this for a while, but I just didn't have the... It's not that I didn't have the funds. Every time I had the money, other things had to get done. So, you know, a mom, a kid, it just... You know, your child comes first. Makeup is not a priority, even though sometimes I wish it was <laughs> for my kit. But um, this is the Laura Mercier... Uh, what is this called? The Translucent Loose Setting Powder um, that she sent. I'm trying to get this tape off my finger. Yeah tape won't go you guys let's just put it there on the tripod but um i know a lot of people in the beauty community use this powder um oh that smells beautiful it's a really nice loose setting loose um setting powder that i've heard a lot of people talk about so i'm definitely going to try this out for myself i haven't used it on myself but i know a lot of people in the makeup industry use it so yes then we got some becca highlighters and i'm a fan of becca but i ain't got the becca cash right now so yeah um this first one is the light chaser highlighter for eyes and face this one is in champagne dream sorry if you guys i kicked the camera but um this one is gorgeous it's a really nice color then i got two of the becca shimmering skin perfectors this one is in topaz Which are basically highlighters, basically. And then this one I actually dropped in the video, so it's almost kind of like cracked. I can fix it, though. This one is in Chocolate G. So chocolate something. Chocolate G is what I'm calling it. Um, and it's just a bronze. You guys can see, like, right here. I dropped it, and luckily it didn't break. So I can literally just repress it um, with some alcohol. Um, then she sent me some eyelashes. This one is the Velour Lash. Velour Lashes um and they're silk eyelashes yeah they're silk eyelashes um i personally don't wear lashes just because i just good, buy good mascara to lengthen out my natural lashes um because my natural lashes are long but they're very like thin um so when i just put on some good mascara we're good to go however i do like lashes um if they're more natural and these are sort of natural and fun and full so i am gonna try these out probably for thanksgiving i'll do my makeup um yeah i might do that for thanksgiving get my do my makeup and everything and 
probably do a get ready with me video because we are going to my family's um in delaware for thanksgiving and then i think that saturday we're also going to one of my aunts as well for like an after thanksgiving type of thing so we have lashes um i have bunches of lashes in my kit so that's great then okay so three of these palettes i knew about because she featured in featured them in her one of her videos which i'll find that video you can click the card to see the wrap-up video she did so they're all tart and tart is a brand i really want to buy for my kit i love their i've heard their concealer is good i've heard that their eye, eyelashes their mascara is great um in their eyeshadow palette so she sent me three of them this one is the goddess glam palette yeah i'm not gonna show you guys very reflective but um here's what that looks like i did swatch this highlighter which i like this blush i swatched it's okay but not the best on my complexion um but again i could always just throw this in my actual professional kit and use it um i'm here for these bottom colors like yes i can definitely see me doing like a thanksgiving look with this color that's gorgeous <laughs> we love um then she sent the tartlet original palette i'm here for the lavender to purple like we we love it um and then here is that palette it's hard to see because of the ring light but there we go so basically lots of neutral smoky eye looks that you can do um and with this comes a where is it a little card that gives you an idea of how to make a daytime look and a nighttime look using the colors so it's like an instruction card i kind of like these because they help me sometimes when i don't know what to do so i'm gonna actually do a tutorial doing this exact look um and then she sent the tartlet in bloom from tarte with the actual paper as well same kind of thing a sunflower stare and then a magic moonlight which is basically day and night and this one is more neutrals So that's going to be fun to play with. Um, really, really fun to play with. She sent me some more palettes. <laughs> I'm trying to find space on this desk right now. Okay. So I have the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box. I do like Urban Decay eyeshadows. Their eyeshadows are great. I have the Urban Decay Naked. And I think the Naked Basics is what it's called. Um, I wanted the Naked 2 palette. But I ended up buying a dupe from Coastal Scents. Which is just as good. But these colors, you guys, I'm here for it. That blue is my favorite this blue right here this right here looks like a matte color I, I think it's called blue green or something like that it's a pigment from matte that that's what that looks like i love this corally peach color and then this purple color here um this looks like a uh, gunmetal as well so yeah they just they look so fun i can't wait to play around with this palette i am a sucker for palettes palettes for me as a makeup artist are great because one they're multi-useful you can use them for multiple things, cheeks, face, eyes, whatever. But um, then she sent me a Z palette, which is basically a magnetic palette. Um, this is what a Z palette looks like. You can get them in different sizes. They have smaller ones. They have massive ones. As a makeup artist, I know exactly what a Z palette is because a lot of makeup artists use Z palettes and buy um, little, uh, little eyeshadows and blushes and stuff to pop into them. But inside of this, she sent me three MAC eyeshadows. So she sent me this eyeshadow from MAC called Lime. Um, it's just a bright green, which I'm definitely going to get some use out of. Then she sent me two eyeshadows from MAC that I know about, I've used before, and I actually do love them. So this one here is called Beauty Mart. It's a really pretty color. Um, and then she sent me this one, which is called Sketch, which is another color that I know about. Those two, Sketch and Beauty Mart, are more like, um, MAC staples. So, yeah. Okay, then I have some other stuff. So let me just stick this here. So, this one here is called Revolution, Makeup Revolution London, London the Emily Edit, the Wants. And um, here's what the palette looks like. And the colors on this palette give me life. Give me life. They give me so much life, you guys. Do you see? I'm a super fan of this corduroy. This laugh cry is amazing. Um, apartment is nice. I love family. I love Eve Rose. I love the Violet. This one here, I can't see what that says off the back. Grateful, good vibe. Just they're just really pretty. J just that's all I'm saying. They're really gorgeous, and I'm definitely gonna use these in a tutorial for sure. So she sent that, and then the last thing that I think was like oh, everything to me because this is something I really really wanted. I wanted the the first one originally, but then I knew that they came out with a second one. And you guys, she sent me the Lorac 
the the rack pro mega 2 palette like i've always wanted one but these colors and the reason why is because i do a lot of um bridal work and everyday kind of makeup look so this is going to be great to use on clientele i am a sucker for this lavender i swatched the heck out of this lavender in the video great but you have a lot of neutral matte colors. You have two rows of mattes and then two rows of shimmers. But um, they're really, really nice. You have a chiffon. You have a soft plum. This blue right here is everything to me. Um, this dark green is called forest. This tangerine color is really nice. That'll be really cute in the crease. Mixed with this saddle. Cabernet. Goji. This purple and this lavender. I die for. I die for, guys. Like Gold leaf and gunmetal. I like. Penny is cute, dark sienna, peony. Like, these would definitely be, like, highlight colors for your brows or your lips. Listen, y'all, y'all, not ready. Are you ready? 2020 is gonna be real. I'm gonna start it out in 2019, obviously, with my makeup tutorial for Delilah, but are you ready, guys? Are y'all ready? Are y'all prepared? Like, and then I have my sis, her name is Monique, um, she has a blog and she is a personal stylist i believe she's a personal stylist she should be if she's not but she's a personal stylist and um she goes by her she chic um so i'm gonna have her on the channel doing some fashion stuff i want her to do like her own video sharing with you guys some tips and then i also want to do a video with her where i do a full full-blown get ready with me so i do my makeup and then have her dress me up in like two or three outfits from my closet so yes um i'm excited for 2020 i have some major ideas coming that will include fashion and beauty on the channel not heavily because i definitely want to focus obviously on doing books and bible studies on my channel but i do like fashion and beauty and i do want to incorporate those things onto my channel um I, I've, I also will be incorporating my church a lot more on my channel in 2020 um starting january 2020 we'll be, we will be doing our 21 day fast so i will probably be recording that and um maybe every sunday i'll do sort of a two-person interview where i interview maybe two people from my church just asking them some quick questions Questions about what they're learning throughout the fast or something like that i'm working on some stuff we, we're working on some stuff the lord is working on me he's dropping some ideas in my head it's just a matter of actually executing them yeah so that is it you guys i just wanted to share with you guys everything that stephanie gave me because i'm super super excited and i i sis i I literally love everything in this, and literally everything in here is something that I've had on my list to buy for my actual professional makeup kit. So, I am very grateful that God has placed people in my life. Um, not just to give me things, so I don't, I don't want, because some people will take that out of context. But just that he's placed certain people in my life that have the same kind of style that I have, the same kind of likes that I've had, and people that will edify me and, um support me like truly support me and um i'm just excited like i'm excited you guys do not understand the excitement that i feel so definitely 2020 is going to be insane i'm probably gonna try to stick to beauty videos on my channel um in 2020 so two beauty videos a month on my channel which will most likely one of them will definitely be a book to look makeup look and then a second beauty video which i don't know what it'll be um but yeah that is pretty much it i wanted to just share everything that she sent me and i love everything i'm like i just want to play with everything but i can't because the last this weekend is going to be crazy it is friday as i'm recording this video so you probably saw me in this outfit already like two or three times it's okay you just know it's friday um and that means i have two days before i gotta preach and my sermon is still not done y'all gonna see my sermon writing vlog and how just how hard it is for me to write a sermon because the lord is still working on me right now so tonight i have church um we had the first day of our first revival for the year it's the first and last of the year because it's obviously the end of the year but um yeah it's called recover all i'm gonna do a whole video on that um i'm gonna try to record some snippets of the service for you guys um and share it with you guys because like i said i do want to incorporate my church more because my church is a big part of my life um 
very much larger part of my life than it was previously because I'm a lot more active. Um, and not just because I'm an evangelist, because I am actually more active. I got back into the dance ministry. I am now on praise and worship. I'm supposed to be singing praise and worship today. We'll see. Um, because I'm all supposed to be dancing, so I don't know what's going on. But um, I do administrative work and stuff like that, and I'm a lot more in tune with God than I want to be in service. Um, previously, I just wasn't going to church like I, wa like I was supposed to. And I'll do, like I said, a whole video, but you guys should probably know from my depression video about how I was going and wasn't going to church. But, um, yes, we're gonna go. This video is a little long for no reason, so I'm done. <laughs> if you are subscribed, click the button to say notify. And if you're not subscribed, then you should subscribe to the little family because we love each other. And yes, we do. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.